Am I the asshole for expecting my GF to help me when I did something she disapproved of? I bought a second-hand motorcycle from a friend and began using it to get my motorcycle license. My girlfriend was very against it and showed me statistics of injury rates from motorcycles and how stupid it was that I was choosing to take the risk. I've always wanted to get one and I ignored her because she is constantly nagging about it being dangerous. We got into multiple fights over it and I was sick and tired of her complaining. Last month I got into an accident, no car only me, where I swerved into a metal fence and broke my collarbone and fractured my wrist. I got myself to emergency and they patched me up. I also got multiple cuts on my face and I needed stitches. I don't have the best insurance so after insurance I have a $3,700 bill. I can't afford this and even if I sell the motorcycle I still have over a grand in the bill. I'm trying to get the bill reduced now but it will take a while. Beyond that I also can't cook or do basic things like put on the brace to my shoulder or lift things. I've asked my GF to help me when she comes over to help me and she's just coldly told me if she helps me I'll just get back on my motorcycle, which I've already told her I'm trying to sell, and I've called her cold and bitchy for refusing to help me with anything because she calls my injury self-inflicted. She seems like she wouldn't help me if I got sick because she isn't the least bit sympathetic I got hurt but am I the asshole for expecting any help after she warned me it was dangerous? Am I the asshole for saying my brother is a terrible brother in front of everybody and leaving without telling anybody where I was going? I used to date my brother's best friend, but we broke up three months ago. My brother is still friends with him but I've made it clear that I don't want to be around him at all. My brother planned a trip for his birthday before our breakup but he and his wife both reassured me that my ex wasn't going anymore, which is the only reason I went. Obviously, they lied and I was really upset that I yelled at my brother in front of everybody and told him he was a terrible brother and that I wanted him to stay away from me now too. We were all staying in a villa together but I didn't want to stay there so I took my things and left without telling anybody where I was going. My brother and ex kept calling and texting me asking me where I was but I ignored them until my parents called me to ask me where I was. Everybody is mad at me now and I don't know if I'm the one in the wrong here or not. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for not helping my fiancé out with his siblings during a family emergency? Background info, I, 27F, do not get along with my fiancé's family. His parents have been rude to me from day one because I don't fit their ideal of what a nice girl should be and my background is significantly different than theirs. His brothers and sisters-in-law are also a bit condescending about my work and lifestyle. After a particularly contentious holiday visit last year, I told my fiancé that I would be low contact slash no contact with his immediate family thereafter. I don't mind him visiting them or keeping in touch at all, but I will not. They can always be his family but they won't be mine. If that was a deal breaker so be it. He agreed that was fine. We're child free, plan to elope instead of have a ceremony, and as much as I move around for work, we'll likely be thousands of miles away from them for most of our lives together. His brother and sister-in-law were in a car wreck last week and both ended up in ICU. They have three kids under 10 and as my fiancé's parents were at the hospital and he wanted to be there as well, he asked if I would watch his siblings at their house for a few hours and possibly overnight depending on how things went. I told him no. I'll be happy to deliver food, drop off anything he needs, and run errands, but I won't stay at his brother's home or be in a position to interact directly with his family. Besides the disruption to my work schedule if it turned into an overnight deal since I have to get up very early, I doubt they want me there and it sounds like a fight waiting to happen once the emergency is over. We went back and forth over it, but he finally ended up staying with them himself overnight and the following day. I dropped off clothes and food that night and the next day, but he just took them without speaking. The brother and sister-in-law will be fine, fortunately. When he got back home. He laid into me about not helping with his siblings when the situation is so extreme. I told him I did help, just not the way he wanted exactly, and he already knew my boundaries. He said it would have taken the pressure off of him and also been a good olive branch. I told him his family already burned the olive tree and they don't get to look down on me and still be able to call me in in a crisis. Doing the legwork I did was supporting him and I just really don't care about them anymore beyond him. We're not arguing anymore but we still disagree. Am I the asshole for telling my husband to get over himself when he started berating me for not picking up his brother's son from school? My husband, 37, took his nephew, 12, in after his dad, my husband's brother, was diagnosed with cancer. He told me that his nephew would be staying with us till his dad completes his chemo treatment. I agreed although he did not consult me about it first. But I told him that he'll be his responsibility not mine. He asked me to explain why and I told him it's because one. 
he didn't consult me before taking his nephew in, and 2. I'm not equipped nor experienced in taking care slash being committed to child care. I still have to cook and clean obviously. He said it was fine and that he'd be taking care of him on his own. The other day he called me in the afternoon saying he was stuck in a two hours meeting and asked if I could go pick his nephew up from school. I said I was having lunch with mom and discussing family issues. He insisted but I reminded him that he said he'd be taking care of his nephew including school pickup slash drop off. I suggested he try to get off work or call some family member to go pick him up. He tried to argue but I hung up. I went home at 3 and surprisingly found my husband there. He was angry and he started yelling at me calling me selfish and unfeeling. I told him that his lack of momagement wasn't my fault. He yelled saying that my lunch with mom could have fucking waited but I chose to be fucking petty just to prove a point. I said that wasn't true and told him to get over himself and stop acting like he was the victim when he put himself in this situation knowing he wouldn't commit. He yelled that he was trying to do all he can to help his brother out but it was me who's playing victim after I refused to help out. We argued some more and I ended up going to stay with my mom for the night. He texted me some choice words that's when I turned my phone off. We're still arguing about it. Am I the asshole for stopping my daughter from studying as a punishment? I have a daughter 16 who is unlike any teenager I've ever seen. The problem is she is extremely rude. I've tried many things to fix this but nothing works. I never had these problems with my other kids. With them I could just say no electronics for a week or ground them or something like that and it would be enough but not for her. She doesn't care if I take away her electronics she just picks up a few novels and starts reading them. She will actually be glad if I ground her and use it as an excuse to avoid all our family gatherings like oh we are going to Andy's home tonight. I wish I could come but I'm grounded and then happily goes to her room. The only thing that she likes is studying. Like she will spend hours studying. Last night when she was talking to her mom she was being rude and very sarcastic and as my last option I told her that she is not allowed to study until I decide she has learned how to talk to her mom. She started to yell at us and called me an asshole and said it's not fair. Then she called my brother who called us and told us we are assholes for not allowing her to study but she gave us no other choice. Am I the asshole for making my stepmother cry and walking away from her as she did? My parents divorced when I... 25 meters, was 3. My dad met Charlotte, his wife, when I was 5. I met her when I was 6. I still remember that day because dad told me we were going to meet someone important to him and she shows up, pulls me in for a hug that I tried to avoid, and tells me how excited she is to have a kid. I remember finding it so weird back then to have some strange woman say that to me. When I went home from my dad's later that week, Charlotte came along and told my mom she had wanted to see where my kid lives when he's not with his dad. My mom laughed at her. I went to hug my mom and then went indoors which apparently Charlotte remembered because when dad picked me up the next week he had with me, she tried to force another hug that my mom stopped. Things between them were never good. Charlotte married my dad a year later and it was a crappy day for me. She promised during her vows to always love me and be a good mom to me, but I found her weird still, and I didn't like how pushy she was. When I was 9 my mom got sick and she died a week before my 10th birthday. Charlotte was insufferable during that time. She kept trying to get me to talk to her, would tell me she was sad that I talked to my granny and granddad, aka my dad's parents, but not to her. She attempted to harass my mom whenever I was with her. She'd try to keep me away from my mom. Dad never did anything. He never cared how I felt about it. He failed me so badly that I hate him worse than her. Charlotte only got worse with the mom stuff after my mom's death. Even telling me now that she was my only mom. She thought it was only right for me to call her mom. Dad and I started fighting about her when I was 13 and I went low contact with them once I left for college. News that I'm getting married reached Charlotte. She attempted to reach out to find out if they were invited. She told me she would love to watch her first baby boy get married and she would love to have a moment, a special dance, with her oldest child. She also said that she wanted me back in their lives. That they missed me. I ended up showing up at her and my dad's while he was at work to talk, and I told her exactly how I felt about her. How I had found her weird for years and how she had made it impossible for me to love her when she was so forceful. I told her the day we met she was a stranger. I told her at no point did she deserve to be at the same level as my mom. I told her I would never give her the relationship she wants with me and I wanted her to know, not for the first time, how uncomfortable she made me. She started to sob and I left. My dad contacted me later that day and told me she was devastated when he got home. How could I say that to her? He said I was cruel and petty and spiteful. 
Then my uncle called and told me I had been unfair and cruel to Charlotte and that I should be more mature than that. Am I the asshole?